Well, I'm, I'm talking about, at this point anyway, incidents of little things that came up in my memory, which had to do with my early childhood. And uh, one, one that I remembered was uh, probably of, of interest. And that was, um, in the early 20s, uh, there was radio, of course, that had been developed uh, many years before and was used even in World War I to some very limited extent. But um, it wasn't uh, available for the uh, consumer until probably around the early 20s. And my father bought one at that time we lived in, um, I think we lived in 148th Street at that time, and um, I was only maybe three, four years old. Um, but as a pr as a prelude to this, um, I had learned. My mother helped me, and I also seemed to be able to do it myself through some gift that I had. I I learned to read and to write when I was only about three. And so I had this particular capability. So my father bought this radio and it had, it wasn't that small and it sat, I remember, on, on a table in the, in the, in the living room. And um, it didn't have speakers. I don't know if they, they didn't make speakers yet for the consumer, I guess. It had headphones. You plugged in the headphone and you listened. So only one person really could listen at one time. And um, it had big batteries to power these, uh, what, what were called vacuum tubes, which are, I have, still have in some of the equipment that I have in my, in my den. And um, so I, I would listen, and there, were, there weren't that many things broadcast, but one of them was this fight between Gene, um, I can't remember his name, Gene Tunney, yeah, Gene Tunney and uh, Jack Dempsey for the heavyweight championship. And that was very popular, and of course it was in all the newspapers, but here they were broadcasting, I think for the first time, radio, a round-by-round -round description. So I, I listened to it and I took a pad of paper and I wrote down what the um, commentator was saying uh, uh, on all the rounds, which I think were, for that fight were about 13 rounds. And, um, and then I had it and I showed it to my father and he, he was so delighted with that and so amazed at what I was able to do and what the radio was able to do that uh, he went around telling all his friends this remarkable feat of his, of his son. So uh, I, I felt good about that.